All right, so I know what you're thinking. This might not look like a $100,000 trailer, but it's what's on the inside that counts. You've got to see this. But first, uh, here's some clips of me picking up and modifying the trailer. So I just bought a 28 foot uh, Hallmark enclosed race trailer. I'm on the way home right now. And besides the fact that the lights keep going on and off on the trailer, um, you could barely even feel the thing back there. So that's pretty sick. I'm pretty happy about that. It feels like literally like I just have my open trailer behind me. About to stop at Bucky's, probably grab some food again, maybe another drink, uh, top off the fuel tank so we can do a little hand calculation of what kind of mileage I get back on the way home. Cause this trailer, I think it weighs 5,500 empty, but it's 28 foot and it's like a sheet in the wind back there. Huge trailer. So see how it does almost home 87 miles and we got 14 miles to the gallon besides this i keep getting this the entire way back trailer brick disconnected because the uh the plug's not gonna get a good connection so it just keeps coming disconnected but my camera still work every time so that's good barely have to give it throttle it just accelerates really smooth love this truck super happy with this truck Gonna top it off and do the hand calculation. Okay, so I may or may not have started another project. So I already tore off all the rotted wood. I'm still gonna pull off. These two right here, because I bought four sheets. All right, now I for real got this whole, almost the whole side out. I think I'm just gonna wind up doing this corner also, because it's just gonna look way better having the whole side done. Because this isn't rotted, like I could literally sand this wood down. It's literally just sand, oh, I guess it is a little rotted right there. Yep, all right, so I guess we're gonna do those two. All right, first piece sitting in there. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to redo these because it just doesn't look right. Two pieces cut. Almost forgot. Don't forget to mark your studs before you put your panels on or you'll never find them. We well, might, but it's just easier this way. All right, that's three pieces. All four tucked into place. I'm gonna switch through there too. I took the last two pieces off. All the fronts nailed in. And I got the last two pieces cut out. Finally, got it all. So now I just gotta put the rest of the trim up like this. Put the baseboard on. All right, so I figured I'd try to fix the lights. Uh, I cut the old plug off, uh, I put a new plug on, but it was still back feeding. So basically when you would turn any light on, all the lights would light up and that means that there's a short. So I just, there's a junction box underneath and I just kept unhooking wires until my short went away. It turned out to be the running lights. So um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the problem need this drill i'm going to take off this shield right here and access the wiring and see what's back there because when i turn the blinkers on this side doesn't work so might be an indication that there's a problem back here lights are fixed all right so i figured out that there was a short to ground on the running lights by disconnecting wires in the junction box so like I said, I was gonna come over here and check out what was going on. 
Um, the only wires that I found that didn't look good was this loom right here going to the tag light in the door. This is like how they had stuff connected. So I cut this wire from here and everything worked. So all I gotta do now is I'm gonna shorten this a little bit and then rewire the tag light and we're good to go. You got running lights, running lights, running lights, all the lights. Okay, last bit of the project. Got some pegboard and some more two by fours to build my desk. Let's go. All right, so here it is. Everything's loaded, pretty much finished. So I built this little desk back here to be like my little sort and ship station. So like I put this pegboard back here. I have a bunch of pegs that I still have to set up. So I'm gonna put all my brand new parts, gaskets, hoses, like miscellaneous tools and etc all back here I'm thinking about putting like maybe an aluminum or stainless steel top on it um but this is what we have in the trailer this is like basically 10 240sx stacked into a trailer nice and neatly 100 percent organized everything accessible this is like so sick i'm like extremely happy about how this came out and how organized it actually is how much I was able to fit in here and everything. So I've been collecting parts for like the good bit of seven-ish years or so. And mainly I used to just collect them just to make my job easier um, because I, I've been putting these cars together for quite a long time now and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So having everything in a central location like this is, it's key. It makes everything so much easier. And if anything ever breaks on one of these cars, I, I have it in here. It's all It's all here, ready to go like full bins full of everything like these bins are slap full they're like two straight full box of oem intakes glove boxes miscellaneous interior only fans when i say that i mean it i have stuff stacked all the way up into the ceiling taillight garnishes windshield lower trims all the way in the back interior stuff right up here full buckle kits harnesses everything so these bottom two shelves besides these two bins right here mirrors and starters is all ac complete ac systems evaporator cores heater cores blower motors got it all Another full bin of AC ducts, more ducts. We even got bins of spare tire jacks, like that's the OEM spare tire jacks. Got a whole bin of them. Condensers and compressors out the wazoo. Full front to back, like that's engine, har engine harness, body harness, engine bay, interior, full for 180. KA harnesses, more stuff up here. A pillar trims and then gas tank straps over there. A little bit of everything and kind of a lot of bit of everything. Like I said a lot of these parts are minimum 5X, some 10X. And this isn't even like all my parts. This is basically just what I could fit in the trailer. All like the big interior stuff. That's all inside, my door panels, my dashboards, that's all inside. But everything that I could organize like this and bin up, see a lot of these, like this whole row is like double stacked back here. Tons of stuff. And having all these parts, it makes it really easy to do my job and basically the only way I can do my job is having just all this stuff on hand. If anything breaks on one of these cars, if anything's not in good enough condition, guess what, I walk into the trailer and I find it. Look at all these, this is what I'm talking about, it's crazy. It's wild. There's so much stuff. More wiring harnesses. 
couple steering columns, a couple steering racks, column switches. It's like six pairs of headlights there, minimum. This is just like a wasted shelf right now. This stuff's kind of just sitting there. Privacy covers. Binning up all these bins, this took me like a month straight to organize everything. I, I organized it all as I moved out of my old shop. I just never got it organized in a trailer. But I just bought this trailer and this is literally, as you can tell, this is the whole reason why I bought this trailer. Yeah, check out what I did to the roof though. I took all my Nabori flags and hung them up on the roof. Try to make it look cool in here. I think it looks pretty sick. But that's pretty much it for trailer update video, my $100,000 trailer. So hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about my collection. And like I said, this isn't even all my parts. I've got stacks of subframes and suspensions and body panels and bumpers and all that stuff can't fit in here. And an interior, I've got it all. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next week.